Strategic Inquiry is a powerful tool you can use to quickly retrieve information from your company database and create simple reports. In this video tutorial, you'll see how easy it is to customize queries and find the data you need. On the Inquiry menu in the portal, you'll see the data sources you are authorized to use, with templates and saved queries for each data source in the right panel. You can click a template or saved query to open it in a new tab. When you open a query, you'll see the Filters panel and the Results grid. You use the Filters panel to create and manage query filters. And you use the Results grid to customize and export the results of your query. In this tutorial, we'll focus on query filters. Let's talk a little more about data sources and then take a closer look at the Filters panel and see how you can set up filters to find the information you need. A query is a set of one or more filters, also called selection criteria, that you use to retrieve information from a data source. A data source is a set of database tables for a module. All queries retrieve information from a single data source, which also determines the fields that you can use to filter the results of your query. For example, the Vendor Documents templates retrieve information from the AP Vendors and Transactions data source. General Ledger has two data sources, GL Accounts and Net Changes, and GL Accounts and Transactions. Let's open a template query in GL Accounts and Transactions to see how you can customize filters to find the information you need. Say you want to create a report on a specific set of posted general ledger accounts and transactions for all control accounts for year to date, including details of batch entry numbers, source amounts, and posting dates. You can easily use filters to retrieve this information from your database. To include or exclude information from your query results, you use filters. You can edit existing filters, click Add a filter to add filters, or click the Remove button to remove a filter. Once you have specified all filter criteria for a query, you can save it for later reuse. Each filter contains three elements, a database field, an operator, and criteria. The field list shows available fields from the data source you selected. If you select Control Account, you can click Yes to request only Control Account information. If you add a filter for Batch Number, the default operator is Between. You can use the Finder to select a range of batch numbers. For the date field, the default operator is between. You can select a date range or select an operator like year to date, which does not need criteria. When you finish setting up filters, click Submit to see the records that match the criteria you specified. As you can see, the results show information for your batch number range for your control accounts. They include the account descriptions, accounts payable trade, and accounts receivable trade. Back in the filter panel, you can create additional filters to further refine these results. If you create multiple filters for the same field, the query will show results that match all filters for that field. For example, you can start with an account description filter to include all accounts containing the word trade.
This will only retrieve information for the control accounts, accounts payable trade, and accounts receivable trade. You can then add a second filter for account description to exclude the accounts payable trade control account. After you click Submit, you'll only see records from the Accounts Receivable Trade Control account. At any time, you can easily remove filters to expand the scope of your query. See the other video tutorials in the series to learn how to save queries, customize query results, and generate and export custom reports.